Hey everyone, welcome to today's Trade Hacker Update. Today's Wednesday, July 29th. Market continues to rip higher. Looking at the S&P 500, up a cool 40 points today. We still got about 30 plus minutes to go before the market closes. Dow up 158, NASDAQ up 123, Russell up almost 30. Oil pretty flat, uh, VIX futures down, volatility getting crushed. Gold's up another percent. The rip roaring rally in metals continues. Silver's up just a little bit. Bonds down just a little bit and Natty Gas up a couple percent. So what did we do today? Well, we did a few post earnings trades. So let's run through our earnings trades, starting with, well, let's run through all the earnings and then we'll talk about what we did, starting with AMD. So AMD opened up above its expected move. I can't remember, it was about $5 was the expected move. I placed this line from where it closed yesterday to the expected move to the upside, uh, opened above that. So what you'll see a lot of times on these expected moves post earnings, if they open above their expected move, price will continue to grind sideways to higher, kind of in this fashion here. And so that is what we're expecting. So we put on a position to benefit from that. So we'll see if that plays out. Another earnings announcement was Visa. And Visa basically opened up down and ended the day pretty close to where it closed yesterday. So we did not have an earnings play in Visa. We did not have an earnings play in eBay either, but eBay down just a little bit after earnings. We did play Starbucks on the post earnings, kind of a similar thing. It opened above its expected move or right above its expected move, which is indicated by this red line here. And so we anticipate that price is going to kind of stay sideways to higher the rest of this week. So it's just, we'll just be in this trade a couple days. Uh, so we'll see if that one plays out. The other one that we played was Shopify, S-H-O-P, same kind of thing, it opened above its expected move. Now this one did come down, it's hanging out right at the expected move at this point. So we'll see if this thing rebounds back to the upside. Now, after the market closes today, We've got PayPal, and PayPal's up on the day, so we'll see what happens after the market closes and PayPal announces. Facebook was also supposed to announce after the market closed today, but they actually moved theirs to yesterday. So let's talk about what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow, we've got, uh, I already mentioned PayPal after the bell today. The other one is Qualcomm, Q-C-O-M, and... It's up today, so we'll see if that continues after the earnings announcement in Qualcomm. And then what else do we have? So in the AM, so before the market opens, we've got UPS, a lot of big name earnings announcements. UPS is up big today. It's hitting new all-time highs, so we'll see if that continues after they announce in the morning. MasterCard also announces before the bell. They're up uh, slightly today. So we'll see how they turn out with their earnings. We didn't put any overnight earnings plays on either of those. And then tomorrow, after the bell, we've got Facebook. Facebook just kind of trending sideways the last few days. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these big tech stocks, the CEOs are on Capitol Hill explaining themselves, basically saying why they're not evil why they are not uh, creating monopolies, why they are good. And so we've got Jeff Bezos from Amazon, the CEO of Google. I can't remember his name. We've got Mark Zuckerberg from, uh, Zuckerberg from Facebook and one other big one. Oh, Tim Cook from Apple. So they are all on Capitol Hill. So interesting stuff going on in tech right now. So we'll see how that plays out. We've been talking about the NASDAQ and how if if this market is really going to take a turn to the downside, it's going to be led by tech. Will this legal slash government intervention in tech be the thing that takes it down? I'm not really sure what else could. I mean, tech has obviously been pushing this market higher, uh, but that is something that to keep an eye on to see if that will uh, have an effect on tech stocks going forward. So Facebook after the bell tomorrow, uh, Amazon after the bell tomorrow. Again, Jeff Bezos on Capitol Hill as well. Google, Goog, the mother company is Alphabet up today. We'll see what happens after earnings. And then the other kind of notable one is GILD Gilead. Now, I'm not sure, you know, with, with biotech stocks, the earnings announcements aren't 
always the biggest deal. It's more about when the FDA approves different things, and Gilead is very involved in the vaccine for the coronavirus, so we'll see what happens there. But that is what's going on. Those are the most notable when it comes to earnings announcements here in the next day or so, and so we'll be keeping an eye on those and making potential plays uh, on those, to, and we'll send out our alerts to our pro members. And then one last announcement is our day trading course. It is officially open for registration. If you go to navigationtrading.com slash day trading dash registration, check your email. We'll send you an email with that link. Uh, you can also go to our private Facebook group. Just search for navigation trading on Facebook or day trading options for income. Just sign up here. Save your spot. It's August 6th at 4 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you are there. Here's what here's what we're going to be going over. We're going to be teaching our number one day trading strategy. It's called the Mighty 90. Reason is, is we only trade it for the first 90 minutes after the market opens. You don't have to be sitting in front of your computer all day. First 90 minutes and you are done for the day. Uh, we've had these trades when winning over 70% of the time. We're finding exact turning points in the market. Very accurate. We're simply buying puts and calls, so there's no complicated spreads, no trade adjustments or anything like that. We are literally in these trades for anywhere from 5 to 10, 20 minutes max, so it's, it's very fast-paced. Best way to trade the strategy in a small account, and then if you're familiar with the pattern day trader rule, where there's some re uh, regulation for accounts under 25,000, we'll talk about the loophole that allows unlimited day trades regardless of your account size. So August 6th, 4 p.m., uh, make sure you check your email or go to our private Facebook group and check out that. Make sure you save your spot. The spots are limited, so make sure you do register. Make sure you can attend live also. We're going to be doing some cool stuff live uh, that won't be available in the recording, and the recording is only available to our pro members. So if you are not a pro member and you want to check out the day trading, it's free. There's no cost, but you got to attend live because the recording is only available for our pro members members. All right. Hope that's helpful. Everybody have a great evening. We'll talk to you later.